Lapu-Lapu City Government. And the Department of Environment and Natural Resources 7. Presents Olango Island Wildlife Sanctuary. The Olango Island Wildlife Sanctuary is one of the best ecological pride of the Philippines. It is found in Olango Island, Lapu-Lapu City, approximately 5 kilometers away from Mactan Island, part of Cebu Province. OIWS, covering a total area of 1,030 hectares, was proclaimed as a protected area by virtue of Presidential Proclamation 903, dated May 14, 1992. On November 8, 1994, the sanctuary was included on the Ramsar list of wetlands of international importance, and it is also one of the important bird areas in the Philippines. We consider Olango Island Wildlife Sanctuary as one of the treasures of the city. It is one of our primary tourist destinations here and we continue to strive to promote our city's brand as a historic resort city. For OIWS, we would like to showcase its unique brand of ecotourism. As we pursue the continued development and conservation efforts for OIWS, we would like to thank the DNR for partnering and involving us in the implementation of programs, projects, and activities for the protection, conservation, and sustainable development, like, for example, the Protected Area Management Enhancement Project. The Lapu-Lapu City envisions to make OIWS as one of our world-class ecotourism destinations preserve natural resources, and maintain a healthy and abundant biodiversity, and most importantly, provide livelihood opportunities to our local communities and sustainable management of the protected area. Management and protection of all protected areas are under the jurisdiction of the DNR. OIWS is one of the best in the Philippines so in the partnership with the Lapu-Lapu City Government, the OIWS Protected Area Management Board, our partner people's organizations, we have the assistance from the PAME project and other stakeholders. It is our commitment to strive harder to achieve our goals and to lead by the values shared by our new DNA Secretary, Gina Lopez. Truth, service, and common good. The Lapu-Lapu City Government and DENR7 takes pride of the diverse coastal and marine ecosystem of the OIWS and has continuously provided programs and projects in collaboration with other partners to ensure protection, conservation, preservation, and sustainability of all flora and fauna important for human consumption and biodiversity in the area. Lango Island Wildlife Sanctuary covers a total land area of 1,030 hectares, divided into two management zones. District Protection Zone, which covers a total land area of 69.70 hectares, in which these are areas set aside strictly for conservation and protection activity. And the Multiple Use Zone covers a total land area of 97.65 hectares, in which these zones are activities related to ecotourism. So, moni siya ang atong uh, staging and nesting sites, atong mga migratory birds, in which diri apod ang atong makita ang viewing deck, nga diri pod ang atong turista, nga muarigid sila para pagtanaw sa atong mga langgam, either 
katong mga migratory birds or katong katong mga resident ng mga bird species diri sa Olango. So kana siya ang entrance fee maupo na atong gikuha diri as resource users fee para mo atong gamiton po sa atong park protector o pag-manage sa atong protected area diri sa Olango. So last 2015 ang atong nakolekta diri as as a resource users fee ay uh, sulod na na ang katong mga entrance fee and other mga concession fee diri sa protected area ni abot o 3 million plus. So ang 75% ana niya is na retain sa atong income account ang atong Olango Island Wildlife Sanctuary retained income account in which mo po na ang atong gamiton sa pagprotectar sa atong protected area. Ang 25% ana is atong ibalik dito sa National Treasury in which mapundo na siya balik sa atong uh, national budget. To provide tourists a more attractive and modern facilities when they visit OIWS, last 2015, the DENR7 has completed the construction of the OIWS Nature Center facility as a venue for all ecotourism services to be offered in the OIWS through the participation and involvement of all people's organizations in Olango Island. It will also serve as center for lectures and seminars on the importance of migratory birds and history of migratory birds in the sanctuary. OIWS boasts approximately 100 species of resident and migratory species of birds annually. Its vast tidal flats serve as the feeding areas for shorebirds including the rare and endangered species such as Also, among the resident birds are Ang function sa Pambi is uh, to manage the protected area. Uh, ang Olango Island na known tungod ining atong OIWS. So wala pa ni atong OIWS, wa, ang Olango Island is magpabilin nga wa mailhi. So mo na nakahatag pud og uh, katabang sa atong ekonomiya sa turismo din sa Olango. Dili lang kay ang San Vicente Kung di, ang tibuok ulang ko. Kami sa Pambi, among ipaningkamutan na musustain or mulambo kining OIWS. Kay usakini sa nakatabang sa atong ekonomiya din sa ulang ko. Dili lamang para, para sa karon, kundi dili angtod sa sunod na itong henerasyon. Uwita ang nga sa Ampi o Olango Island Ecotour Association o sa mi sa gi-organize sa DNR sa pagprotekta sa ma maong wildlife sanctuary. Na tabang sa DNR, tagaan mi nilag training, mangrove identification, bird identification, amo ang panginabuhian o livelihood, ang mga catering services, Anya, na kami magpatanom og bakhaw, kami ang hayron sa DNR. Kami mo, ha, sila mo hatag og area, anya, kami may mo tanom. Mga na isilbi na mo panginabuhian. Anya, usami sa nakatabang sa amo ang kalikupan, diri sa isla sa Olango. Ang ikatabang sa protected area na mo, mga mga kami, dili na mi maputol sa kahoy among protektahan. Kaya kinahanglan man siya ng among kuwanan, kaya mamang siya kuwanan sa langgam. Ang langgam sa pagkakaroon, among giprotektahan, wala na siya ay mamusil. Sa una po silong, sinakuma na ang langgam po silong. Ma wala na siya mga hoy, ning minus bit ang pangahoy. Kaya naapo may kanang rotation sa rubing. Na, sa amo ang kapunungan, murag four times a week. Ako may guide, anak. Nung survey mi sa OIWS, sa sud. Magpunit may basura. Kaya 
partnership mapugli sa kani package nga company ma'am na sila yung nakatapos sila na mo gamay nga livelihood sildo niya ako po nang gibahin sa ako ang mga kauban mauna nga ang amo amo ang wildlife sanctuary amo gyud protektahan kay nakatabang gyud dako sa amo ah, sa akong pamilya kami nang dako kay ikatabang namo sa pi tungod sa mga bisita nga mutan ang salanggam unya kanang makadugang pud sa among kita kay mapalit lang sa binur shop namo na mamitindahan unya usa pud mi sa beneficiary kay og naay magpakiter namo mami naay way paniudto kami man mo ihiron og paniudto unya mao ni nga usa siya sa nakatabang namo Aside from bird watching activities, some other ecotourism services OIWS offer are beach walking, camping, community tour, boating, kayaking, mangrove tour, snorkeling, and scientific tour. It was one of the best trip I ever had, and uh, coming to Cebu, it was like one of the. It was in my hit list. Uh, Olango Island, it's very, very different from the Labu Labu side and Basak. It's very peaceful, very, very, very quiet, and it's very, very clean. And this is my second. Sorry, this is my third visit. Here. Yeah, in uh, in two weeks, this is my third visit. So, this will not be the last one for sure. And let me tell you the last word. Once is not enough for this place. Once is definitely not enough. But uh, ako mga turista, dire jud nako siya dadon kay uh, sikat mo na siya. Tapos ang lugar peaceful kayo, dili kayo crowded. Tapos ang hotel uh, peaceful sad gyud hotel. Being one of the country's ecological pride, showcasing the interdependence of plant, wildlife, and man in one environment. Together, let us experience life in Olango Island. Arena mo sa Olango para makakita mo sa mga langgam. Pidasig ka mo sa pag-ari sa Olango kay nindot ang among area dere. Suroy mo dere sa Olango. Aron ka mo maka-experience. Uh, nature, dire. I would like to uh, invite you to come and visit Olango Island Wildlife Sanctuary and experience the beauty of the place. We would like to invite our local and foreign tourists to also visit Olango Island's Wildlife Sanctuary and experience local culture, practices, and appreciate nature at its best. Dayon kamu sa Olango. So if I find any people, if who wants to come to Philippines, I will definitely recommend them. Trust Cebu, then don't don't miss uh, Olongo Island. If you miss Olongo Island, you miss uh, you miss the best part of Philippines. Ug sa tanan akong mga amigo, ug mga turista, mga adto ta sa Olongo, patanaw ta sa mga bird sanctuary, dili mo magmahay kung ari mag Olongo Island. Thank you.